Okay, so here's my boy. Uh, he's 11 years old and he hurt himself playing soccer. And how long have you had this going on right now? Uh, two weeks. So he's had it going on two weeks. <laughs> so much for me fixing him. He's been telling me about it, but I haven't had a chance to get uh, to work with him. So here's what he shows me. Very much like I'd shown you uh, the mulligan kind of stuff. I'm going to give you a variation of it. So go ahead and show us what you can't do on this side. Just in, in turn that way. So he can't lift that all the way up. And then go ahead and kick this one up just to show him. No problem. Okay. So remember what I was saying to you about mulligan. How can we move the body to see whether this works to get it to work easier? And so what I want him to do is I want him to actually side bend. Go ahead and side bend to the left and now kick this foot up. Ta-da, it works. Side bend to the right, kick the foot up, and it doesn't. All right, so can we do a technique in which we just have him side bend this way? All right, so this is a self mulligan almost. Now kick a bunch up like that. Does that bother you at all? A little bit. Okay, kick it up. So, okay, now let's see whether we can get it perfect where it doesn't too much. Now rotate a little bit into it. Rotate, so rotate either that way or rotate a little forward. So rotate right there and kick that one up. Good, relax. And then go again and then go forward with it. Which one's easier? Which one do you? Okay. Or do you just like straight side bend? Straight side bend. Okay, good. So go ahead, do a bunch of them straight side bend. Okay. Does that feel okay? Okay, good. As far as you can. Can you go higher? No, that hurt. Okay, keep going. All right, and that's a mulligan doing it. Oh, my shirt's all untucked here. Sorry, you guys can't see me up. I keep forgetting I got to. If he's standing, I got it. No, no, keep going. So I forgot my head cuts off. That's why I sat my chair here because he's shorter than I am. If with the camera, we get I get cut off. Okay, good. Relax. Come back to neutral, and let's just see whether doing some of that has made this help him any. Go ahead. All right, so it's improved some. All right, so now go side bend again, really into it. Now, you're leaning now more. I would want it more up in here. Side bend right there. Now kick up, see what that makes it better. And now side bend like you were and see what that makes it better. Which one's better? Standing up straighter and side bending? Good, so he wants to get into ribs. And that's what I always say is that so much of your leg stuff is ribs, and this kind of proves it. Good. And emphasize it, really emphasize that. The side bend if you can. There you go. The, the more side bend that you can get, the better. The more of that really crunchiness. Yeah, there you go. Does it feel better when you crunch? Like crunch into there. I got you. I got you. We're just seeing whether it's better than last time. I'm going to stand up straighter because you said you like that more. But then crunch right into it. Good. That one looks perfect. He actually has a little bit of rotation to the left going on. Good. And relax. Stand up straight now. And now kick that regular now and see whether it's better than it was. Nice. Okay. The speed's picked up everything. Is that better? Okay, good. Now, that's using a self-mulligan technique with an other area of the body rather than just the hip. All right, now, we'll do a TMR concept on it, and let's go to the good side. All right, so go ahead and kick up here a bunch of times on the good. All right, but let's side bend and see which one makes even that side easier. And now the other side bend that way, and which one makes that the easiest? Okay, good. So let's do a bunch on that side and kick up. Again, a different concept, all right, and see what happens. Fast, come on. And again, we're just going to do two quick sets and see what happens to so keep that locked in there. And so I hope this will show you that, hey, some of the times that you're just focusing on, you're like, this he's feeling in his hamstring. If you were just coming down the hamstring or maybe even just up the hip, you're missing it so much because this is a stabilizer. Come on, get into that side bend. This is a stabilizer. As he's moving, all right, it stays relatively straight. If there's a problem, it can be just coming from a rib. Um, all right, relax. Stand up straight. Face that way and kick this one up and see how it's doing. Okay, is that better or worse than the last time you tested? Better. Okay, so let's do some more good sided. Again, really get that side bend now going on. 
And so these you could do at school tomorrow or during the day pretty easy, right? And he's got a running contest coming up, a, a, a sprint on Friday. So we got to make sure that it's today's Tuesday. So we got to make sure that he really does several of these during the day. Really good lock in that side bend. Good. And relax. And retest that side. How are we doing? Okay, it's a little worse right now? Yeah, it's worse than I'm going again. Okay, good. So let's try the mulligan kind of thing again. No, go back the exact way now. Really side bend into there. A little bit of that. Now kick that up. How's that feel? Nice. Okay, now let's side bend the other way. Because sometimes it can change. Now kick it up. Okay, good. So now, so he switched. He's probably had a vertebra that was rotated at one point. Now it's higher up and we're getting that part or maybe it's lower. Go ahead and do the, the other side. Yeah, rotate into it and kick it up. Does that feel better? Mm -hmm. Really get that, keep that rotation. Or, yeah, that side bend, I mean. Good. Nice. Actually, that looks really good. There you go. Keep going. Kick, 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 kick. Does that hurt? Okay, good. And relax. So again, now recheck it. Again, just a little bit different concept for you.